99X in the morning X. It's Barnes and Leslie. We have some good news for Brookhaven. This is good stuff. Hang tight. 30 seconds. You know what else we have? We have some good news for you. We have a Morning X air freshener. I'm on I'm on the other <laughs> side now, Barnes. I'm actually loving the air freshener because it smells good. I've got one in the car. I actually purchased it off of the store. Go to the store at 99x.com for all kinds of, you know, just 99x stuff for yourself or your friends. Be a part of the family. And then, of course, the Morning X air freshener. So we have lots of listeners in Brookhaven. Two oh, to yeah. three at last check, <laughs> at least. Come on. In the Brookhaven zone. Want to welcome Brookhaven City Council. Uh, do you say member, person? What is it, Jennifer? Title council person, city council woman, okay. whatever you like. <laughs> All right. Jennifer Owens. Now, do you do you know what 99X is? Oh, I very much do, oh, y'all. Good. I have been a long time, 20 plus year listener of 99X. Sweet. Wow, so thank have you. fond memories. Right. <laughs> Leslie, throw another one up on there. That's four people in Brookhaven. I've got I've already made note of it. Listen. <laughs> okay, so I don't live in Brookhaven. I did once upon a time, but I live one house away from Brookhaven. So if you can work on oh, maybe getting me in there, I would like that because y'all have better trash pickup. <laughs> We'd love to have you back. Yes. We'd love to have you back. So the Dresden District. Now, I didn't know that this had a name, but Leslie, this is my hood and I've taken you to dinner at Haven there before. So is that where this is? Dresden did When did this get a name? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that that corridor along Dresden Drive, which is home to Haven and Valenza and Ciro and Faraday and just amazing restaurants and some shops. Uh, we decided as we were thinking about uh, building where our city center is going to be and really developing a sense of identity uh, for the city of Brookhaven to brand that corridor as the Dresden District. Um, as you may know, it's probably one of the most popular areas in the city. There's always a vibrant crowd. It's great for families. It's great for singles. Uh, and it's a fantastic place uh, that is home to a lot of small businesses, especially some of the best restaurants that you can find in Metro Atlanta. Vero is some of the best pizza. You've mentioned that many oh, times. For that, sure. That I have found in the Southeast. So now uh, in Brookhaven at Dresden District, you're allowing open containers. Explain to people what that means. Yeah, this is just a, another little kind of add to, to sort of make that part of our community a little bit more social and vibrant and again, uh, really do some good for some of the small businesses there. Uh, so right now we've got an opportunity where you can go in and maybe purchase a drink at uh, Valenza, for example, and you can uh, enjoy that drink on the stretch of the Dresden Corridor up until 10 p.m. So if you want to put your name on the wait list at another restaurant, restaurant and, and walk down there with your cocktail, you're able to do that. So you, you have a certain cup? We do. We have branded the Des, the, the Dresden District, and uh, those cocktails or wine or beer will be served to you in kind of a branded cup uh, so that you can walk along the corridor. And you said that I read the hours were 9 a.m. to 10. Now, who needs to be drinking at 9? I would uh, I will leave that unsaid, but would agree. We want to make sure that the district, again, <laughs> remains a really family-friendly, vibrant yeah. place, but also is a place that's got a little bit more kind of a social component. There's also a new development that'll be opening up that'll have a small green space as well. So that corridor is really, it's always been sort of central to our community, and that is not going to change. If anything, it's going to continue to grow and expand. So the question, I guess, is with the open container law, Barnes, that they can do this, I guess it makes people hang around and stay longer, correct? Yeah, it, it does that. It also gives a little bit of flexibility of how you want to sort of spend your time on the corridor. Uh, so that part's exciting. And um, we've got, you know, cities around us that have done similar things. Shambly's a good example. And so we're really excited. There's a little battle, a little battle going between, you know, Shambly and Brookhaven and Woodstock. Everyone <laughs> is really being creative. And I love it. What is happening at the MARTA station right now? For all those years behind the Brookhaven MARTA, just that concrete jungle has just sat there. I never see it with many cars. And I know now you're rejiggering that whole thing. What exactly is coming there? We are. Um, so the that parking lot that, that is in front of the MARTA station will be home as of next summer to what will be known as Brookhaven City Center. And that will include our new city hall, a number of public gathering spaces as a part of that. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, it will be either one of a very few or the only 
a city hall that will be located on a mass transit line. And so we're really excited to redevelop that part of our city. Uh, and frankly, at the end of the day, uh, it, thinking about how cities, you mentioned Shambly, Woodstock, et cetera. You know, Brookhaven is my kid's hometown. Mm -hmm. And for me, as a member of city council, it is very important for there to be an identity to our city. And I think city center, alongside all the wonderful parks and green spaces and great city services and schools that we have in Brookhaven, is just going to be the cherry on top to remind my kids that this is where you're from. This is your hometown. You guys have done a great job. I I really am jealous that I'm one house away from Brookhaven. (laughs) And you guys have great police you have and they really seem to care oh gosh world-class police and i will say you know in thinking about the open container district and again i'm a parent you know i'm not interested in, in my kids you know being put in situations that feel more kind of college than anything the police have been wonderfully intentional in thinking about the public safety part of the open container district and i would say we have hands down the best police force I, I would say in the nation, without question, the way good. that they work day in and day out. It's pretty good. We're talking to Brookhaven City Councilwoman Jennifer Owens, a new open container law on that Dresden district. I know you may not have heard of it either. I didn't know it had a name and I go to it maybe five <laughs> times a week. This is going to be great for the economy, especially around there. I'm, I'm sure the restaurants love this, but I also understand they're trying to do music on certain days of the week. Yeah, I, listen, I was, at, I was in the Dresden district at a restaurant last night and there was this fantastic jazz band playing music and it filled the streets and uh, it was just it adds again to that character that feel of our our neighborhood it's wonderful and I would say the other thing about it being good for uh, economic development is you know these are small businesses around mm-hmm. uh, on Dresden these are you know independent in some cases chef owned restaurants small boutiques uh, so we're really proud of that again that kind of authentic character that Brookhaven offers well, we should get together and do some sort of 99X collab and get one I of our bands. It. I'd love it. Yeah, we oh should. Oh my gosh, do... I would love it. And we can do a little organic X on a Sunday morning. Oh, love it. Love yes. that. <laughs> love that idea. So, okay, where does the Dresden district, where does it incorporate? So it goes up that area where all the restaurants you named are, but how far does it go up yes. to like Mellow Mushroom and Fox Brothers and all that? It does not. It actually stops once you get closer to the Marta Station. And it also does not extend into more of that residential area down Dresden as you drive through Claremont. We really have a contain and kind of that concentration of, of restaurants and boutiques there uh, in the middle of, of Dresden. How are you going to curb the cheaters that keep the cups <laughs> and then fill their cups at home with their own business? Oh. I mean, I'm just keeping it real. Oh. I'm just keeping it real. What, I mean, is there? A, how do you even deal with that? I don't, you're giving folks ideas. No. I think it's a good question. <laughs> I think, you know, we are going to try this on for size, and okay. I am sure that as things happen, we'll need to make tweaks here and there. But the intent is for people to come patronize our businesses, yeah. um, spend some time with their families or their friends on the corridor, have a good time in a safe manner. Uh, and then hopefully come back again and again. It's a great Love idea. It. All right. Dresden District Open mm-hmm. Container. Now it's legal from 9 a.m. until 10 p.m. 9 a.m. So I'm going to have my breakfast booze now when I go to Jay Christopher down there. Okay. Thank you very (laughs) much. You You guys are doing a fantastic job in Brookhaven. Seriously, let's do some sort of collab. We'd love to do it. We'd love to have you out anytime. And thanks for all y'all do. 99X has been such a part of the Metro Atlanta region for years and years. So thank you guys. Thank you. Brookhaven City Councilwoman Jennifer Owens. Have a great day. We'll see you later. You too, y'all. This is 99X.